Hey everybody, Alex here from Uncanny Wellness, and today I want to talk to you about a really important topic, and that's water-soluble CBD and the importance of bioavailability. Let's get into it. So CBD is one compound found in the extract of the cannabis plant. Most of the CBD industry out there is derived from the hemp side of cannabis, but there are, is CBD present in marijuana-derived cannabis extracts as well. No matter where it comes from though, it all has one thing in common, and that's the fact that it's lipophilic or fat-loving. It's fat-soluble. That means that the natural extract can only be dissolved in other oils. And when you think about it, that's a great reason that most of the CBD industry out there today, it's all oil-based products. Tinctures, you know, that you're supposed to hold under your tongue, creams and balms to rub into your skin, and even different vape solutions are just all oil-based. And if you think about all of those examples I just gave, none of them are designed to just be swallowed into your stomach. And there's a good reason for that. If you were to swallow CBD oil as is or mixed with the carrier oil, 90% of that dose is going to be broken down before it has the potential to be fully absorbed into your body. And that, in essence, is what bioavailability is. How much of a dose are you actually absorbing compared to how much you actually took? So something with 100% bioavailability would be like an intravenous injection directly into your bloodstream. All of it's going in. On the other hand, if you were to just swallow oil, 90% can get processed, so it might only be 10% bioavailable. Now the bioavailability changes depending on how you introduce it to your body, but swallowing oil just has very, very low absorption rates. There's this thing called pharmacokinetics, which is the study of drug compounds and how they move in the body. And within that study, there's this biopharmaceutic classification system and there's four different classes of compounds that describe all of these different types of drugs and how they relate to being absorbed and how they move in the body. CBD is a class 2 drug compound and what that means is that it has high permeability and low solubility. And so the bioavailability of all of these class two drug compounds is directly related to its ability to dissolve in water. Let's not forget that we are all water-based beings. So this is very important. So the main issue that prevents CBD from being absorbed in the stomach is known as the first pass effect or first pass metabolism. This first pass metabolism is not unique by any means to CBD. A lot of different drug compounds have this same exact issue to overcome. It's just so normal in drug delivery science that many mainstream pharmaceuticals and mainstream medications, they don't advertise increased bioavailability because the lesser bioavailable or the version of that drug compound that would be blocked by the first pass effect isn't even marketed. But because the CBD industry is so young and so many people don't know about the science behind absorption rates and bioavailability, people are selling versions of CBD products that do have terrible absorption rates in the stomach. For example, a simple CBD capsule. If that capsule is filled with oil, it's going into your stomach, it's coming up against the first pass effect, and you're getting maybe 10 to 20% of the dose but a CBD capsule like what we have at Uncanny Wellness that is converted to a format to overcome the first pass effect, you can take that dose and expect the full absorption. I just wanna take a second and read to you the definition of the first pass effect because it really just says all this very simply in a technical way, which I'm into. The first pass effect, also known as first pass metabolism or pre-systemic metabolism, is a phenomenon of drug metabolism, or the breaking down of drugs, whereby the concentration of a drug is greatly reduced before it reaches the systemic circulation. It is the fraction of drug lost during the process of absorption, which is generally related to the liver and gut wall. And so it says it right there. This is not a new issue. 
It's just new for the cannabis space. And it's something that scientists have been overcoming for drug compounds and effectively delivering them to people for decades now. So let's take a step back. When you walk into the natural product section or supplement department of a, of a food store and you look around, it's very, very obvious what types of products people like to consume. It's mostly pills and powders. And now in the functional ingredient, functional uh, natural product space, there's a lot of foods and drinks with functional ingredients. Every single one of those, food, drinks, capsules, powders, those are all designed to enter the stomach. So for CBD to truly and effectively continue forward in the food, drink, and supplements category, people need to be using a version of the product that is made for overcoming the first pass effect and being more bioavailable in the stomach. And many techniques out there that people use for CBD and for other drug compounds end up converting it to a water soluble form. And other phrases for this could be a nano emulsification or a micro encapsulation. You know, it gets, it gets a bit technical, but basically micro encapsulation, a nano preparation, water soluble, those are all different terms used to describe techniques that convert the poorly absorbed oil form to a more properly absorbed format made for all of those use cases I described earlier. So hopefully you understand that a little more. This is not something that is necessarily uh, up for debate. I'm certainly not the one that's making this up. This is just legit hard science. It's something that has been already addressed and is the standard to overcome for so many other drug related compounds on the market. It's just that this industry is so immature still and we're still so young that we need to have these conversations about how to take CBD effectively and what makes sense. Because there's really nothing worse than somebody taking a CBD oil product, swallowing it, and then feeling like it's not working for them. Because they're really only absorbing 10% of the dose, maybe 20%, and they're not giving their body a fair chance to experience what it's all about. So in summary, CBD oil is naturally oil soluble. And because of that, it runs into some issues because of the type of drug compound it is. The first pass effect breaks it down before your body can fully absorb it. And so for you to ingest it in any form, in a drink, in a food, in a supplement, whatever, you need to take it in a way that is converted specifically for increased bioavailability in the stomach. I hope you found this valuable. Please subscribe to the channel for more content like this like the video and of course share it with your friends so that they can understand what the deal is with water soluble cbd and bioavailability and then they can go out and make the right decisions for themselves thank you all so much feel free to leave a comment down below if you feel inspired to and i will see you next time peace